Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the IPL6 North American Qualifiers. I'm on the server, um, got the server infos just in time. So we missed the first round, but the match is now live. So we have gonna have a look at the rundown, uh, at the lineup real quickly. And that is Flamehopper, Grego, Maigo, and also Nimbus for VV Gaming, of course. And on the other hand, we have Samson, Cole, and Fiend for Lady Killers. So um, yeah, that's our final for this one. And uh, as I said, the first attacking round was already over while I was connecting on the server. So here we are now in the second round. Flamehopper in the attack for the already down to one armor. He has to watch out a little bit. Takes the first frag now. Nice dodging and also not able to connect with the third one. So a little bit unlucky. Nice effort in the end and then uh, it didn't went all the way as he planned it. So 2 to 0 for Lady Killers. Cole now attacking for them. I'm seeing the first shot now. Now making his move over to the middle. Not connecting with the shot so far. Lost one armor already and is hoping to get a frag on the right side. He was not able. Ooh, flame up was, was far in the open. So Cole managed to take the shot. Now he has to watch out. Has backed up lots of lots of meters already. Out. One armor only left. Nimbus on the right and Greg at the pole. And Greg Omega gets taken out by Cole. So we are down to one one to one one situation. Ah, oh, but he runs just directly into this last run rocket and I will just change my crosshair real quickly. Sorry about that. Didn't oh, didn't change it or before the match. So there we go. So nice and bright for you guys on the stream. Thanks for tuning in by the way. I hope you will uh, enjoy this one. Gregor making his move. Not able to connect with the guy on the red hat. Rust. Now Fiend taking another shot from the red pad. Gregor has to watch out. Gregor Mago. No. Fiend dropped down from the red pad. 38 centimeter miss. So barely close. And Samson behind the pillar. Still. Has to watch out. One player is just beneath him. It's Fiend. And he gets taken out by Gregor Mago instead by the Rockets. He was paying a little bit too much attention about the guy below the red pad. I mean, it's okay. Um. He lost two armor to him, so I would check that out as well. Absolutely. And now we have Samson attacking four lady killers. Flame up on the left. Grogu at the wall in the middle and Nimbus on the right side. So nobody's playing the L cage as of yet. And also the grey pad is not taken by by BVV. So Samson wall jumping up. Not able to connect another shot. some shots but nobody's far in the open yet. Samson not connecting. Oh uh, sorry flame hopper connected with one rocket. Now he dropped down. Samson has to watch out. One armor only left remaining for him. Gregor Mago on the left on the right behind the pillar and yeah there is the last rocket. Nimbus finishing him off. Two to three on this first map. Of course it's the best of five as all the other finals as well. Now Nimbus attacking for VV, the guy from Canada. Samson hiding behind the pillar. So Nimbus not able to outmove him. He already dropped down and he, he makes the shot. He wasn't able to hide fast enough. Now 25 centimeters by Nimbus trying to connect with another shot. I managed to take out Cole as of yet. But there he goes, nice rare shot from Nimbus. And dropping down, making his move over to the side, and there we go. 3 to 3 after 3 or 2 to 1. 
the game is tied up once again. So Fiend and Nimbus taking one attack around so far for their teams. Nimbus, wow, really, really great. Score so far. Nice movement there by Fiend onto the rail pad. Could be able to make a shot here, but mm, missed that one. Flame Hopper has to watch out there on top. Trying to make a wall jump just to get him into the crosshair, but not successful as of yet. There goes Gregor on the right, and at the pole. Already taken out as we saw. Now Fiend, one armor. Ooh, that was really close. He just. The rocket just flashed in the wall, and yeah. Time is up. Fiend not able to connect with any shots or go for the capture pole successfully. Uh, successfully. So therefore, it's a 4 to 3 for VVV. Close miss. Fiend on the rail pad again. So he's barely, fairly surrounded now. Has to watch out. Tries to take out Fiend from the rail pad. He's not showing himself. Now he must jump over, but not connecting with the shot again. He still hears him at the rail pad. Now he drops down. The second or third time that it paid out very well for Fiend just going for the rape at the beginning and then dropping down. But now Flame Up by nicely dodging everything that gets thrown at him by by Elki uh, Lady Killers. But in the end, he gets taken out nonetheless. Taking you once again. Again, missing these shots. Wow, nice rockets there by Grego Mayago. Taking Cole down to one armor already. Managed to connect with the shot on the flame hopper as well. Oh, he's moving around. But there's Nimbus! Nicely done by Cole. Maybe he can take another player out. Or maybe he makes this move, but there's the perfectly placed rocket by Gregor. So, three rockets for him in this round. Now, let's see how Gregor will play this round. Especially after this red round, defensive round by him. So 5 to 4. First miss by Gregor, now he's making his move. Wall jumping, nobody at the red head, but there's Cole, totally out of position, gets taken out by Gregor easily. Now they're looking around 44 centimeters again by Gregor, so close shots by him. There's another takeout. Fiend goes down, so it's a 1-1 one -one situation, but Gregor is still left with all three armors. Can he make the shot? Not as of yet, but he's going for the pole now. Dive perfectly in time, but he takes him out. Nonetheless, no problems for him of taking this attack around. Well done by him. So now we have Samson. 6-4. to four. And Nimbus and Gregor playing really well for their team. Samson behind the, the wall, gets tapped by Gregor once as he was dropping down from the wall from on the right. Already down to one armor, so he has to watch out. Not the easiest kind of situation, and there are two guys behind the corner, and Gregor takes him out once again, hitting, just finishing off the round. Make a shot onto Fiend, who's at the rail pad. Ooh, 
11 centimeter miss, very very close one. Still very well going on. I'm just just waiting for him to get out in the wrong moment in time. And then this making another move on the field, but not connecting with the rail once again. And he already dropped down. No, he did not. Cole just they just they switched positions. Very nice move. Nimbus assumed that nobody was left on the rail pad as Fiend went down and wow what a nice rocket by Samson perfectly placed between the uh, rail pad and the uh, pillar this was another rocket burst break at the rail Successful two times already. He has to watch out behind the pillar. And there is the third one. Gregor perfectly played on the rail pad. He did miss a single shot. Now we have Flame Hopper. Taking four VVV. And Lady Killers are changing around a little bit in terms of their positions. Cole was now on the elephants. We didn't see that earlier. At least when I check the overview. So they're trying to change things around a little bit to adjust to their opponents. I mean, it's already 8 to 5, and we possibly could take this map already by winning this round of Flame Hopper on a good way, but he just runs into the rocket. Lucky did not get hit by the second rocket as well, but still, one armor left, Cole and Fiend left for Lady Killers. The short Fiends gets rushed at him and just takes him out. Well done, I have to say. So far, and while I mention it, just gets hit once. Two armors. Gregor now making his move, but Cole not able to connect with the shot. Now takes out the first attacker. Uh, the, sorry, the first defender. Not able to connect with another shot. And he really has to. There's another frag. 15 seconds now on the left. The, the spot is open. Perfectly flick move there by Cole, but not able to connect with the shot. And there is the shot. Eight to seven. Gregor Mag who gates down. And he just said, what the fuck is going on here? So very, very nice attacking round, I have to say. Back to back. And now Grego attacking once again. He already took one attack around. So let's see what he can do this time. So again, Cole at the elephants on the right. Fiend on the ray pad. And Samsung further back at the pillow. Wow, he takes him out. Why is he done? Now Samsung and Cole, the players remaining. Now it's Gregor is dropping down. He's making his move. He takes out the first attack defender, and there goes another one. Oh, gets pushed away from the pole. Not enough time left. He has just had to get to the pole. 68%. Ah, oh, that was so close. So 8 to 8 now, and we go into tiebreaker. The one, the 12th one for Gregor. Samson taking out Gregor on the rail pad. But he gets hit by a rocket before and Wow, nice shot there onto Nimbus who was hiding behind the, the wall. But still, there was something he could hit. So, two to one night situation in terms of armors. Samson moving around. And there's another shot there. Ah, they're really taking in this map around. I mean, they they were down eight to six. This 
could go really really crazy in a minute. <laughs> Now we have Nimbus attacking. Okay, he's taking on. He has to if they want to stay in this map. We're we down to two armors. Really good tactic now. Team thrusts at him, but he's touching the most of the rockets, but not all. So it's an eight to uh, eight to ten in favor of Lady Killers. So that was a really really close round, I have to say. A close map. Let's say that. Of course, if you just tuned in a few seconds ago, this is the IPL6 NA qualifier number four final. Here we go on to the next map. Apparently he needs something to drink. Some more time to warm up for the players. I have to be honest, I didn't check out so many games of the NA qualifiers. Just didn't have the time to catch up with everything. Um, but yeah, just watched a few parts of the rebroadcasts. So I'm very really interested to see how the finals will go down if they go down of course probably heard about it already that uh, it's not 100% sure if the uh, IPL6 will be held in Vegas and on this month but it's, as of yet it's just rumors nothing official so uh, I'm not saying anything uh, at least not, not in particular <laughs> And also in the other qualifiers, there's some teams already through. I mean, in the EU qualifiers, there were uh, four kings, Pyrogen, Fnatic, Corwin, and today we already saw Baiki and Roughneck. So these six teams are qualified. And on the other hand, on the A side of things, we have SK, Curse, Spin Move, Team DM, Monomaniac Esports, Rim, and also these two teams. So basically they are just playing for the sake of the seeds. But now we have uh, the match going live on Castle Crasher. Nimbus attacking first once again. A little bit unlucky there, running to the rocket. Two armors remaining. Guys, you can still hear the fiend at the rail pad, but he gets taken out by Nimbus now. He's in the wall, uh, the, uh, the trees. But he's not connecting with the shots. He's taking it slowly. Going in too, too aggressively, but gets taken out nonetheless. So 1 to 0. Onto Fiend, who's already down to one armor. He's trying to make the jump over to the river, but he falls down just directly into the hands of Flamehopper. 
it's 1-1. One, one. The current score. Grego. Still waiting for someone to show from the red hat. There is Fiend. Let's get taken out so far. Maybe connect with the rail. No, nope, he doesn't. So Grego has another chance. The Fiend now rushes him, but the reload time was just in time for Grego. Now he's trying to move around. Samson could hide just in time. Cole at the pole and Samson on the right. Grego moving around, making his move over the right side once again, but he gets jumped in the air, jumps again onto the pole, but gets taken out easily by the defenders there. <laughs> yeah, and Cole not very lucky in this round. Say so we have a two to two. Wow, two nice rockets there by Samsung. Just shot in the right moment on the right spot. Flammopper with the wall jump trying to get an angle onto him. Oh, there no. Wow, two centimeter miss there by Flamehopper. Very, very close one. Nicely dodging the rockets. Now he's moving over to the other side, and Samson connects with the third and final rocket in this round. Time to shine in the attack, but he's stuck there a little bit. Already down to one armor, and there's the thir third and final hit. So, three to three. The score on map number two. in a bad spot and Nimble just takes him out but gets hit by the rocket nonetheless he saw them coming went backwards but it wasn't just not in time but takes out another player and wow what a nice shot there to finish off the round 4-3 first attack around going in favor of VUV Fiends get pushed down by the rocket that connected with him his wall jump up. Just enters the map normally, so he's not going through the tunnels. But he was already seen, so if he can adjust to it. And wow, flame over hit just he was so lucky there, but he gets taken out now. Oh no, it was Grego who jumped into the uh, crosshair. And there's a guy on the red pad. So five to three. So we have Fiend on the rail, Cole at the pole, and Samsung on the left behind the uh, I don't call it wall. Or Fiend already dropped down into the grass and pushed him away with the ro is himself away with the rocket to avoid the rail. Very nicely done by him. Now Gregor making his move over to the left side. He already hears them. Samsung managed to connect with one rocket so far. And there's the other one. So nice flick around. Back Rogue to take him out. Just barely avoiding this next rocket. And there's another shot, so could Gregor take this once again? Missed by just 19 centimeters, so go behind him behind the pole. It's with one rocket, and Gregor goes for the capture but does not make it all the way. Five to four. Now 
now we have four attacking. Jumping on the red. Wow, Nimbus already dropped down to him to grass, but Cole not managed to connect with him. That was the hardest shot to make. And Nimbus <laughs> walks around. Oh, reads this perfectly and makes another shot happening. Wow. Back to back attacking rounds now. 5 to 5 the score. Nice shot there on the sensor. Feet moving around. Ooh, gets almost taken up a flame hopper. And Fiend once again out of position. He was not out of position at this, uh, at this place already in the previous or, or next to previous round. Of, wow, and what a nice shot by Flame Hopper! So six to five, another attacking round now. Three attacking rounds successful in a row. Oh no, it was only two. Sorry about that. Something, something must have uh, gone wrong in my mind. <laughs> well, almost 2 a.m. here, so please bear with me. <laughs> now Samsung, ooh, he gets pressured. No chance. Get cornered nicely by VVV, and now Nimbus attacking. So far, in terms of armors, Nimbus tried to connect with a shot onto Fiend on the rail, but he's doing a good job there on the rail pad, connecting with one shot so far, not with the second and third one though. But Nimbus gets hit by a rocket from Cole, and there is Fiend once again. He came around with a rocket. Nice shot onto Gregor. Seven to six. Now in favor of VV. He's still in the cage. It's really waiting for him. Wow, nice. Not taking the shot, kind of surprised, but now he takes him out. There's only one defender left, and three armor still left for Fiend. Nimbus at the pole already. Can he make it happen? That's the question right now. Fiend slowly going for the pole, missing another shot. Five seconds on the clock, he should really go for the capture or the frag. He goes for the capture and makes it seven to seven. Managed to connect with the shot on the field. It's again on the rail pad. They're playing a bit more defensively all all the time than VVV. VVV always taking the position at the front cage. He still hears his opponent, so he should be able to connect them but there is the last last rocket from Samsung. He's really doing it playing very very well here on on Castle Crush I have to say. Eleven defensive points already. A lot of spam coming in of Cole for Cole. Takes out two attackers already and that should be the third one. No he just misses by 44 centimeters. But there it is seven to nine so second map goes in favor of Lady Killers. So two to zero in this best of five.
now the next map is Daybreak as VV gets the loser pick. <laughs> Good pick, we shall see about that. Fiend seems to be fir thirsty. <laughs> nice chat is going on. Just bring it up so you guys can reach it properly. Starting off the third, maybe final map already. I mean, the maps are very, very close. It was 10 to 8 on Rust and 9 to 7 on CC. That is uh, Kaiser Crusher, of course. And uh, yeah. Nice move there by Flamer, bro. <laughs> no fiend. Second first for Lady Killers to kick this one off. Interesting and very, very defensive positions. Normally you see a player in the spawn as well, but Fiend nicely taking out Nimbus at the gel cage. And tries to connect the shot onto the guy on the right side above the pole no shots so far and there's the rocket then coming one armor only remaining for Fiend he has to get up and take him out but he <laughs> gets taken out in the air by Grego Now Gregor checking all the left sides. Now checking, not hitting with another shot. I heard him have there as well, so I was kind of surprised that Fiend was somewhere else. But now Grego already down to one armor and he goes down. No call taking for Lady Killers. Position there on the left, so a little bit more aggressive attack, and Cole gets totally surprised by that. Let's see, Cole and Fiend and Poland. Samson on the rail. So 
Nimbus has to watch out what's coming from the left side and there he gets down. Knocked down to two armors. Makes his move over to the left just to attack him. <laughs> but he gets hit by a rocket from the side. So only one armor remaining. Something try to wall jump up. Nimbus. Ooh, just avoiding this rocket. That was really really close. Still not able to connect with a shot and this could be the end of him. No, he's still alive. Thought there would be a rocket incoming and the was and his life in the red is so two to two. Samsung over the right. Then up on the left once again. And there's the second shot. So nicely done by him so far. There's nobody in the spawn, not sure where he's aiming for him. Then for down on the right. A little bit out of position. But slowly moving back. Samsung just avoiding all the rockets. And there's the third and final hit by Grego. Take out. Goes down. So 1 1 situation, but then was still with 3 armors left. So this could very be. could be around for VV, and there is the frag. Well done, 42. Coming at him, 42 over Fiend on the rail. Uh, sorry, Flame up on the rail. And there should be another hit. There goes, but nice hit there by Fiend. We're going to pull. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and there is Flame up, which is coming from the right. It was basically just a matter of time when he he should be coming. Shots so far. Pull at the pole. And the spawn gets taken out by Grego. Let's see, could make his move now. There it is. Not connected with the shot, he's doing the dead pole dance and it's away. He is successful. 6 to 2. So, defenders not able to stop him there. But I mean, if these defending positions are taken and the, the guy from the way, uh, from the spawn gets taken out, then the attacker has such a nice angle onto the the guy on the pole as he can move on the left. Flame up on the rail, which worked out last round already. There's not the first hit. He missed the shot. And pole going for it, gets hit by a rocket, now by a rail, and there... It is. No, it was Nimbus and then Gregor to finish off, sorry. Only rockets, no rail. But I heard the shot and uh, he went down in one armor point. So 72 already for VEV. So the map pick is paying out quite well as of yet. The Samsung had the connected with the shot onto Nimbus.
Hold on, taking out one defender. Two, 28 centimeter miss. These rockets are kind of close. Now he's dropping down to the right. Uh, to the left, sorry. There he goes, jumping over to the pole. Gets hit by one rocket. There's the second one to finish it off. 7 to 3. Now we're taking round 4. Okay, so far. Flame up here, up on the high wall again. They spotted him now on the left side. Grogo is moving around, he was uh, on the wall. So, yeah, you can see how they changed the position. Flame up on the pole, Grego here. In the corner. Samsung maybe able to connect with a shot from a rail. Just shot the pole instead. <laughs> Taking out one, taking down one armor. Samson, interesting move. I had an angle there, but he dropped down. Now he's going for it, and he gets hit by another rocket. Only one armor remaining. He's going for the capture, but not able to c do it all the way. Eight to three. Flame up attacking. So Samsung again in the spawn. Then was coming down. Sometimes it's so hard to get up. Wow, he takes him out, but nice two rockets there by LK. And the there's the third one from uh, from Samsung. So eight to four. They're still in this one. But still, they need to take the next four rounds to force the uh, the tiebreaker. The fiend already down to one armor now. This could be it for in terms of this map. Ooh, dropped down. He's not finding the Dra Drago already far away. No field with the rail. Not able to connect with this one either. Flamehopper and Nimble still left for VVV. And Field with one armor. Not connecting with this shot either. But there comes the rush from Flamehopper. He's in this bad spot. But Field nicely out moving. And there's nobody at the spot but just. The rocket from underneath, <laughs> 9 to 4 for VVV. So after take, two uh, going up ahead, 2 to 0. In terms of maps uh, with uh, Rust and Castle Crusher, Lady Killers and VVV are now 2 to 1. There we go. <laughs> and Feet says just like, told you it was a good choice. So collided now. The fourth map in this best of five.
Guys, it's still warming up. Not sure if uh, needs to get something to drink once again. <laughs> there's the countdown. So fourth and final map starting it right now. Uh, fourth and maybe final map. But let's hope that there, there's going to be a five mapper. I mean, both teams are already qualified, so they they can show um, s show off some moves and just uh, joke around a little bit. And by the way, I've seen some very interesting uh, positions, defending positions on Collided lately. So let's check it out, what L L uh, LK is doing. Samsung and Kabi feed at the at the cage and call, yeah, you know, just above the spawn basically. On the bridge. Now Grego going into the middle. Now of course, on Collide, it's always so important to just get the opening frag and then get past the defenders. Sometimes it's not that easy if still three are left. Now Grego can try to do a little jump there, but not able to connect, uh, to, to be successful. Not connecting with the shot into the cubby as well. Now has to drop down as there was one player on the left as well. Probably going for the capture pole right away, but he gets pushed away. This could be it, but yeah, <laughs> and he takes it. Wow. He gets it twice, but not the third time. Oops. Now, taking. Okay, I think the rocket was good, but he just placed it in front of the wall. And there he takes him out. Oh, there's some weird uh, shadow bugs since the last patch for me. There's called two, three armors not connected with the shot of the flame. No, 15 centimeter miss just. Just barely there. There's Nimbus, he came out of the archway, Cole now just going for the pole, but there's a double turn, <laughs> he makes the third rocket as well. Wow, what a nice defense, I have to say, from Flamehopper. Hello, rockets! And there's already one armor gone for Flamehopper now. But there's the frag onto the cubby. We heard someone on the right side and takes that call easily now. But where is the third and final one? Yeah, he's suspecting him behind the pillar and he's absolutely right about that. Fiend, ooh. Ooh, just jumps out. <laughs> that was that was a nice shot in the end. Taking out defender number one. There, there's Nimbus in the cubby, connecting with the rocket as well, trying to move over to pole, and this is successful, hiding just in time behind the wall. There's one on the spawn. He gets hit in the right in the air, and this is a very bad spot not to fiend for fiend to be in. Four to zero already, four vv on this map. So after being down two zero in terms of maps, they are just starting off. Very well now. <laughs> I'm just not connecting with any of the shots as of yet. Going into the cubby. <laughs> there he's already gone. <laughs> uh, very nice. <laughs> There, Nimbus goes down. In terms of armors, only one left. And there's the last hit by Cole. So connecting twice. So 
four to one. Moving just right in to the pole. It might be a little bit early, still 17 seconds. But he has the, the point in the bag. And try to take out Nimbus so he's not getting surrounded, but he's in a bad spot now. It's only one armor remaining. Everybody comes out from VFV, and there's the nice air rocket by Grego. Five to one. Gregor taking four VV now. Samsung in the cubby and feeling cold back at the pole. <laughs> and there's a long distance rocket connecting by Cole and <laughs> Gregor takes out the defender in the pole. Nice two connections up with the rocket as well. Five centimeter mess now to follow up. One armor only remaining for real. Can he make the impossible happening? And <laughs> he just captured right away. Six to one. Wow. This shouldn't have happened. This really shouldn't have happened. Armor is only remaining for Cole. Jump to the one of Rego. Once again in the cubby, there's also one on the left, so he has to watch out. Every miss could be crucial here. Oh, he avoids the uh, defenders a little bit. Try to connect with Gregor, which is also a reaction shot. Nicely moving to avoid all the rocket spam, but he gets pressured into the corner. Not a good position to be in, and there's a 7 to 1. Taking out one defender already. Now Samsung is next. I thought he was hit by a rocket beforehand. Two armors left. He's trying to make. Oh, nice adjustment. Just aimed for it and then jumped up. Maybe he can do it this time as well. Well, I have to shot through the pole. There's the shot. Nicely done. <laughs> I just mentioned and he's going for it. Very, very well done. 8 to 1 already. VV looking very strong here on this map. So, Grego in the cubby gets taken out, and there's the last rocket finishing. Fiend's life, so 9 to 1. In favor of VVV. So we go to a fifth and final map in this best of five. Two to two the score, obviously. <laughs> We're going for Paladin. Gregor might need a little break and then we are good to go in in a few minutes.
Yeah, and I really, really hope that uh, IGN will still hold the IPS 6 finals in Vegas. I mean, especially for Shipmania, this tournament is so important. Because basically in every single tournament, the IPL map pool is used right now. Because it's such an important tournament for the teams. It would be very, very sad if uh, this will not be played out. But there's nothing official yet, so we don't know what will be happening. They're still warming up a bit here on Paladin. Not sure if you if you already saw the uh, the new version of Paladin, like the 2013 version, also done by CryW, who made the original version as well. And just uh, just a few changes, uh, to be honest. But one very very interesting. There's like a this extra passage around here with the grappling hook and a, and a slide, like a, like the wooden plank slide or however you want to call it. And there's a second archway over here as well, so there's not this narrow narrow passage. And here's a little hole, so the pole is a little bit more open. And I played it a few times already, but not too sure. The map is really better this way, but this is something nice to try out. I mean, there's the grappling hooks, and grappling hooks are always fun, always fun. I mean, just think about breach. Not I'm, I have to be honest here, I, I don't think breach is like the best competitive map, but it's so much fun to play anyway. <laughs> So let's see. Okay, it's about to get ready. And there we go. This match is for the LP. <laughs> you attack. <laughs> there we go. Paladin on the way. 2 2, the ma current map score. Oh, we're back in warm up mode. Interesting. <laughs> So this time the toss should be working fine. So 
there we start off the round. Let's see about the positions. Nimbus at the LK cage, flame up a little bit further back. And Gregor on the high ground. Aiming for the example and wow, oh, flame hopper at the rail. Grego hits with a rocket, but it gets taken out as in like directly afterwards. One times are not working as he's uh, trying to go for it. Wow, Nimbus to substitute to the air. That was such an easy shot to make, but still, he's alive. Five seconds, he has to go for the pole. Or die, which uh, well, the second half happened, has happened. There we go. First rocket, not managed to net the, the third one. Close miss. Now he's moving around. Just tries to deal with the spam shot, dodging, but it was not enough. So one to one. Then we have some bouncing rockets. <laughs> oh, not managed to connect with another shot to them. Oh, but again, on the rail. But there he comes and <laughs> just p p hits with the rocket. Nicely placed. Two centimeter miss from four, and there's another rocket by Gregor to finish it off two to one. And again, this is the the last and final round. Trying to do the cage stance. <laughs> and there he takes him out. So nicely done. Still three of us left. Oprego. He's looking for another shot, but nobody shows himself as of yet. Samsung happily not get taken out. 12 centimeter west, but there's the shot. Well done by Grego. And there's the next hit as well. Easy peasy. 3 to 1. Very, very uh, interesting taunt to say at least. <laughs> now Samsung from AK. Can do something? Ah, he was trying to jump through the archway, but failed a little bit. But now is he finally here, yeah, flaming over. Connecting with the rocket, but Nimbus not so lucky in this situation. Now Flame Apple gets taken out by as well. 1-1 one, one situation, Gregor or Samsung, who will get out of the tunnel build? And Samsung not managing to jump off the wall. Gets a shot onto the pole. Gregor gets on some spam rockets. Time slowly runs out, he only has to make the shot and that's it. Runs out of time.
was just jumped up. Moving around again. There's Samsung. He didn't. Well, he gets surprised by it. And Fiend just double tapping him for the end. So 42. Nice jump there. And an 8 centimeter miss. By Fiend. There's some bouncing rockets, he has to watch out. Nicely avoiding all these rockets, so wrap them perfectly. There's some rockets incoming as well. He's trying to get a peek onto the pole, but nobody to hit. Is there any? Ah, there was another rocket incoming. Takes out Drago. Still two arms left for him. And there should be another shot now. Nimbus and Flame of gets rushed at him, and Fiend just stuck at the corner. <laughs> you, saw, you could see him looking down at the very end. He wants to drop out or at least get away from the rocket, but yeah, didn't pay off. Didn't pay off. Evil, evil edge, I have to say. Now we have Flame Hopper. Take for BB, and there's someone around the corner, but he takes him out. So nice reaction by him. Takes out another defender as well, Fiend. Now the only one remaining for Lady Killers. Ooh, he dropped down. Ooh, he's. Fiend is in such a bad spot. Flame Hopper can just wait here. Basically, but there comes the push. Fiend getting over to the other side. Now try to get onto the pole. Pitcher as his capture points gets available, and there's the frag. Yeah. When he fall down, he basically give, gave up the round. So that was very unfortunate for him. Cole tried to jump into the tree once again. Not successful this time though. Ooh, nice shot in combination there. Gets hit by a rocket, nonetheless. So let's see. They want to have the game, maybe? Yeah, he's just going for the flick shot. You can see. You can hear him just quietly over the left side, you know. He's gone. It's a nice shift there by playing up just in the right time. Correct nothing. Trying to make up to flame so once again, but he's just directly going for the pole, gets taken out by him. So 72. Nice wall jump combination there by Gregor. Taking out Samsung now. And Cole possibly as well, but no. He dropped down. Okay. Really going for the corner, but he's not there anymore. Oh, he is! Just around the archway. Moving around, not able to take out Cole. And there's Fiend just rushing right at him. So 7 to 3 on the fifth and final map for VVV still. Better shot onto Nimbus, but not managed to connect with that one. Craig around and back as well. He's not 100% sure about the last one. There's Flamehopper. He was on the rail once again. His teammates gave him the information that Samson was coming for him, so. Let's move around. Oh, and there's someone behind him. Very dangerous situation for, for, uh, for now for Samson. 
and he's not able to live through that. So eight to three. Nimbus has offensive of match point now for BVV. We're seeing the shot on the core who's now up on the bridge. Cole's making a move. Just to shut him down early before he can get through the archway. Now we have Nimbus not connected with the shot. Oh! And he's a little bit stuck in the air. And there's the next hit. So 8 to 4. And that's a little bit familiar. I have to say. think about the first map Russ where they also were down back to back and then they turned it around winning the map 10 to 8 in the end so. nice wall jumps by Fiend and a very high angle there onto the pole but still not able to connect with the shot Going through the archway, still someone at the rail. And rushes right at the player. Now he's stuck in the corner, we're trying to wall jump up, but this is the corner of Doom, let's say it this way. So 9 to 4. And VV winning this one in the end, although they were down by two maps, taking it 3 to 2 in the end. Yeah, so this was the IPL 6 NA qualifier number 4 final between VV and uh, Lady Killers. Players are already leaving the server and of course both of the teams are qualified for the final. I hope um, this is going to be played out. As, um, you, so you should absolutely check out your like favorite uh, community sites and stuff to to get <coughs> everything new about it. GameSpot wrote something about it, for example and uh, also Reddit's uh, threads are out there to discussing what will happen to the IGN Pro League number 6 finals but um, the, the real future remains to be seen as there is no official statement out from IGN as of yet but the qualifiers will be played out and especially there's um, next week or next weekend there is the uh, PAX East uh, qualifier which will be the last qualifier for the uh, NA tournaments so um, yeah European teams are already through just to mention them real quickly it's uh, four Kings Pyrogen Fnatic and Cowin so these six teams are qualified and for NA there's already SK Curse Spin Move Team DM Monomaniac Esports Rim and now also uh, VOV and Lady Killers uh, qualified so one slot remains in terms of the qualification, this will go down at PAX East, so um, you should check that out as uh, IGN probably will stream this uh, event live on site. Um, and this should also be the reason why they weren't able to stream this match today. So, um, yeah, I was happy to step in. I hope you liked it. And um, yeah, we can see us each other fairly soon. So, if you are interested in some Joust action, tomorrow at 14 CET there will be the Zoti Cup monthly final. Uh, with the top eight of uh, of the February uh, of February, so um, these matches will be awesome, I suppose. And so, don't miss it. Um, same stream once again, of course, 14 CT. So uh, take care, guys. I wish you a pleasant night, and see you soon.